interrupt me when you clearly connect with an event. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and relax. Use your intention to open up the connection with your God mind so you get the clues, information, and love that you need. We're going for the optimum trauma or event for you to tap on and clear for your joyful empowerment. Ask your God mind to protect you from any misguidance by me or your conscious mind during this session. In a little bit, I'm going to ask you a question. The answer that you get could be subtle and may not make any sense at first. Grab whatever comes. Don't judge it. Don't change it. Don't associate it with something you know, like from this lifetime. Just get it and tell me. It could be as simple as a word, color, sound, or feeling. That's life and other memory often comes first by a feeling. Then we're going for the optimum trauma or event for you to tap on and clear for your joyful empowerment. Take another deep breath. Relax some more. What's the first clue? Bighorn sheep. Bighorn Big, sheep. Okay. Bighorn sheep. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Take another deep breath. Relax some more. What's the next clue? I'm in a cave high up on a mountain. Mm. The bighorn sheep is outside. Interesting. Let me, let me feel this cave, allow it to come. Trusting the process. So, I'm an older man. Okay. I'm wearing what looks like diapers. Like uh, guru loincloth. Hmm. I'm meditating. I meditate a lot. I don't have much contact at all with society. I feel something happened, something. Ah, it was a crisis of faith. Oh, let me get at this, this will be good. Crisis of faith. I'm breatharian. I live off prana. I don't eat. That's why I keep being pulled to that in this life. Hmm. A yogi master. I can bilocate. What was this big event that, so this affected me, him, so much that it's, it's been blocked somewhat. So we're going to sneak around it. Sneak around it. <laughs> Something to do with a big cat. I was hurt badly by a big cat and thought I was completely protected prior to that. Wow. 
Ah. Completely protected. I had utter faith and trust in my protection. It was my test. Ah. And I was tested. The cat got me, which is what is happening now. This is why I'm being shown this. It's very important. After that incident where I was pretty maimed, I turned away from God for a while. So this shattered my confidence in my powers, shattered it. It shattered my faith in God. I've been hiding in this cave ever since. I'm meditating for answers, but I'm looking for these answers within, not externally, within. But I'm, I'm blocked. I'm blocked. I'm not getting anywhere, and I'm really frustrated. I'm really, really frustrated. This is a block in trusting my powers in today's life. Not being able to, I didn't see the cat coming. So my psychic abilities were altered or something. I wasn't able to see the cat. I wasn't able to stop the cat. And I have cut myself off. I feel squeezed. Pushed away from myself, pushed away from God. Squeezed, Squeezed. okay, yeah. Squeezed, squeezed off. Yeah. I, I feel that in this life. And it's so funny because, of course, sometimes we ask, why aren't these things coming to me? All my healing friends around me, they can see, they can do this. Why am I so slow to this? And, of course, You may jump to victim mentality and say, oh, the dark's suppressing me because I'm so bright. No, (laughs) I have blocks. I have blocks that I've done to myself. Yep. So this is a big one, George. This is a really, really big one. Yes, I cut myself off from everything, from feeling I cut myself off from emotion, from faith, from self-love, from eating. I just dwindled away and died in that cave. Mm. Yeah, I died of heartache. I feel something right here now in my chest. Okay. This is such a good one. Oh, my gosh. Such a good one. How it led for, okay, the bighorn sheep is a messenger. It's why I live in Borrego Springs. Borrego means sheep. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. It is is coming full circle. I (laughs) I have messengers daily. I knew... You know, I live in Huntington Beach in California, but I want to build this community in Borrego Springs. So this is happening. This life is what was stopping me from building this community because I'm not realizing my full power, my full potential. I am blocking myself off from that. Nobody else. I feel this pressure on my chest. This is the heart attack that happened. Whew. Wow, that's a good one. Now I'm getting flushed. I feel the heat. 
So this life is being transmuted already before we do the tapping even. I feel the healing coming into me. It's huge, a big flush of heat. My chest is being completely pressured down like an elephant. That's the heart attack. This is the heartache. It's the heartache of cutting myself off from everything, everything. I had put all of my work and attention and emotion and life into being a guru. And I could not protect myself from being maimed. And total crisis of faith. I said this whole life, it had been many lifetimes. I knew I had seen into many lifetimes of uh, spirituality. I've been doing that for eons, right? I had seen many lifetimes of that training for what I thought was this lifetime I was going to ascend. This lifetime I was going to ascend. And how could this happen? Then I'm not ready to ascend. And then I just cut myself off. Cut myself off. Ah, interesting. Whoa. That's why I didn't feel the event in, at, the, oh. at the spring equinox. Wow. I cut myself off from it. Whoa. Oh, George. Oh, my gosh. That's unbelievable. Wow. We are our blocks. We cannot blame anyone, anything, mm -hmm. any entity. It is us. It is us. This is the key. This is the key that will open all the doors. <sighs> wow. <laughs> really exciting. <laughs> this is really exciting, George. Okay. So let, let me line up the emotions that we can tap away. <sighs> Uselessness. I mean, we might as well just, I'm just going to utter them. We might as okay. well just tap each one as it comes forth. Okay, you want to start tapping now? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. All right. There's a part of me that knows how to. There's a part of me that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. All these feelings of being useless. All these feelings of being useless. Unprotected. Unprotected. Gullible. Gullible. Brainwashed. Brainwashed. Crisis of faith. Crisis of faith. False beliefs. I didn't hear you. False beliefs. False beliefs, okay. Lack of self-love. Lack of self-love. Lack of knowing. Lack of knowing. Lack of trust in myself, my higher self. Last, lack of trust in myself and my higher self. Lack of trust in source. Lack of trust in source. Lack of trust in the journey. Lack of trust in the journey. Not understanding my test when it faced me. <laughs> Not understanding my test when it faced me. Giving up. Giving up. Rage. Rage? Rage against God. Yeah, rage against God. Closing my third eye. Closing my third eye. That's why my third eye is having trouble opening. That's why my third eye is having trouble opening. Anything else? That part of my being is willing to inform the rest of me now. That part of my being is willing to inform the rest of me now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. My mind, body, and spirit are receiving the love. My mind, body, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing. Information. Permission. 
healing information permission and deep relief now and deep relief now take a deep breath experience healing and insights information transfer is now complete information transfer is now complete so be it it is done so be it it is done I am utterly floored. This explains everything. <laughs> this explains everything. This explains my slower acceleration on my spiritual path right now. It's not slower. I'm doing rather good. I knew I could feel this whole way. This is like wearing weights while treading water. I am actually getting so super strong from having this weight around me, but it's time to release this weight because now uh -oh. <laughs> it is time to skyrocket like a phoenix. I could feel this coming. For years I could feel this coming, but I didn't know how to get there. <laughs> George! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> well, me too. <laughs> oh, that was huge. What? Okay, wait, the, the sheep, the bighorn sheep. I live in Borrego Springs. They're a, they're a totem animal for me. They must be. Oh, my gosh. So this is going to be fun to see what happens now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my friend. We're unlocked. It is time. It is time. It is time. Look how quick that was. <laughs> Look how quick that was. Uh huh. I'm blown away. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. So that whole sensation of the chest is gone. All those emotions are gone, gone, gone. I'm looking back. Nothing is triggering me all down the tunnel, all down my Akash. I can see that. Okay. We collapsed a full... We healed a full lineage, ancestral lineage from that. What is happening in these healings, it's not just for one person. It's like a web that goes out. So I'm healing all my ancestors, all my selves, all my selves, multidimensionally. And this is going into the collective Consciousness, you know, it's healing the yeah. collective. This is huge work that's happening. Huge work that's happening. And look at, so you, you called for the two optimum healings. And my higher self went to these two big ones. Yeah. One for abundance and power. This, awesome. both of them were awesome. power. Claustrophobia being gone. Yeah. Wow. George. <laughs> it, it's so funny how I could feel this connection between us and our work before I clicked on that email. So <laughs> interesting. So interesting. I'll tell you why it hasn't happened until now, because it wasn't time until now. Now humanity is ready. They weren't ready before. Yeah. Humanity's ready now. There have been lots of little things, lots of little ducks had to be set up before you were unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Yes, and me. Oh, yeah, we are very, very powerful. <laughs> Just wait until I do one of these on you. <laughs> that is gonna, okay. that is going to be fun. 
<laughs> okay, well, remember, I've had people guide me before, and I've come up with a lot of blanks. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah. this is all part of the trust. This is uh, it's all trust. So you see what life was just showing me. Trust was shattered. I'm yeah. sure that's exactly the same for you. Oh. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm starting to feel it. Yes. <laughs> so are anything, any of those feelings familiar from this lifetime and still stuck? No, it's funny. I can see, looking back, all the little things that were in place because of this one block. Right. Okay. You know, trusting my power but and my pick, pick out, pick out a pick out a big one. Tell me what the intensity is. You know, for one, standing in front of the crowd and speaking my truth and trusting my power. Not trusting that I have this knowledge to share because look what it did to me. It killed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So uh, it kept me from standing huge in my power. Okay, that, that, that was an instant this lifetime. Yes, you know, having right, so fe what's fear. The intensity, of, fear what's, of the intensity on, what's, the, what's the intensity on that now? The fear of public speaking was high. And, and communications. So sometimes opening emails, I would feel this fear would well up in me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's gone. Everything is gone now. Everything is completely gone. There's no fear about those There's uh, no emails. fear. Wow. So you went public speaking once. And you had a huge well, I've, done it, I've done it many times, and I've had to blast through nervousness. You know, once I get up there and get rolling, I'm okay. But I can feel that there's something pulling at me. And okay. this was a life, you know, and, that we dealt and, with. And, you, and, and you're clear that if you go up and speak in front of somebody again, a big group, you'd be, you'd be oh, fine? Guess what? There's, there's another one attached to it. Okay. There's another one attached to about speaking my truth. Hold on. Let's see if I can get there without anything else. Hmm. I was speaking to the masses, and I feel this arrow going right through my chest. Okay. That was one of many. <laughs> Yes, yes. One of many, all of us have dealt with dying from speaking our truth in many lifetimes. Right. So, so tell me what the intensity on the arrow where the chest is. Okay, let me, let me go into that life more fully. I'm on a balcony. I'm a female. I'm a queen. It's interesting. I'm feeling multiple lifetimes in that position. And I'm seeing okay. all the different weapons that have killed me. Okay. What's, <laughs> what's, what's the deepest uh, um, uh, trauma? Deepest level trauma? Well, the, the arrow was shown to me first. So I'm trying well, just, to... Just ask yourself, which is the deepest one? Which is the deepest... Yeah, something in that lifetime. Like the key core trauma. Yeah. Let me keep my eyes closed for a second. Let me see what was happening at the time. Queen. Queen of love. I reigned in love. My people turned on me. Wow. How did they turn on me? They were brainwashed by a dark, dark being who came in. Turned them against me. And when I was delivering a speech about 
knowing my inner wisdom, sharing that, but it was a big speech. What was the big speech? Uh, it was about something about ascension. <laughs> That's why it's being shown to me. That is keeping me from <laughs> delivering my YouTube channel. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, no wonder I felt this weight around my feet of like, why am I not cutting these videos together? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And now I feel this vibration all through my body. Ah, I feel it in my womb. That's where creation is. That's the uh -huh. creation of the videos. This was a big one, George. Oh my gosh. I so needed to go to this one too. Oh my gosh. Hold on. This is so exciting. <sighs> I was talking to them about ascension. And I had get, I had poured so much of myself into my people. I had given them so much. And then to have them not only turn on me and not believe me, but kill me. My own people killed me yeah. with an arrow. That affected me for me what, what many lifetimes up until now. <laughs> up yeah. until now. I've carried that weight. That's what's kept me from stepping into my leadership role now also. I have felt this leadership role for clearly for eight years, clearly for eight years. And I kept saying, I feel this leadership. I'm stepping into this leadership role. Okay. All right. Where is it? Okay. I'm stepping into it. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> That's hysterical. This is why. This is why. <laughs> So all we have to do is clear these little weights. You know, bless us. We have come so far through all these experiences of lifetimes. And we're, yeah. dragging, we're dragging these emotions and these weights into this lifetime. You know, the joke was, we have baggage. Oh, we can't have a relationship with that person. They're carrying a lot of baggage. Yes, we all are. All of us. And, and it takes clearing it away. We have to clear this away. It doesn't just disappear on its own. It doesn't disappear on its own. You gotta people, go back and look at it. People have to do the inner work. Yeah. You have to do it. If you're stuck in the hamster wheel now and just focusing on external jobs, house, whatever, and you're not looking within, you're not taking the time to look within, give yourself the time, nurture yourself, take a bath, go for a run, go for a hike, go for a motorcycle ride, do this by yourself. Quiet your mind, cut out these little thoughts that are pulling at you, keeping you like little gnats, keeping you from focusing on this beauty within. Every single person out there Everyone has this beauty. Even the, the people who are playing these dark roles or not realizing, these, many of these dark ones, they're in such pain themselves. Right. They've carried this over for many lifetimes. They feel they're, they're undeserved of the love and the light. It's time. It's time to transmute that with love. Show them have them look within, see that little flame, and we fan it, Show, put up a mirror, you can fan it, fan the flame, grow it big into, into big love. <sighs> this is gonna affect a lot of people, George. Yeah. And you know what I saw? What? You were right then being the queen, telling people about ascension. Oh my gosh, I have tears in my eyes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> George, that was so big. 
<laughs> Thank you, baby, for calling me a queen. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, that was so big. I so needed to hear that. Not to be called a queen, no, but to... The emotions yes. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was so big. <laughs> so any, any negative emotions around that? No. No. It's like the joy of having it released. It's released. It's released. You get to do it for the whole of humanity now. Yeah, it's time. It's time for all of us to step into our power. No one is bigger than the other. All of yeah. us have different roles to play. You're, you're going to be one of the leaders, that's all. Just like it, I've been one of the leaders. Yes, leader and teachers. That's what we are, Angel. That's what we yeah. are. And it's okay. You know, we're going through at this wave now. You know, the event will hit us in this big wave. It's already been happening. Those who have dealt with it before, experienced it before in the spring equinox. Now, George, I feel we're going to experience it in October. This, okay. this next solar solar event that's coming, it's this big wave. We will see. We will yeah. see. Well, uh, by then we'll probably have so much more power and consciousness. We'll know it ahead of time. Yes, we will. Oh, my gosh. That was huge. <laughs> thank you. I'm still wiping the tears out of my eyes. Angel, I thank you. I thank you for being born. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you for listening. You have been doing your work for so long. You have listened. Mm -hmm. You know, it hasn't been easy for us. A lot of naysayers out there, a lot of people who think we're crazy, a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, family friends who don't understand. It's okay that they don't understand. A lot of us have gone through solo times, you know, not being understood. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> now coming together, our tribe is coming together. Yeah. Our tribe's coming together. It's time. 